Hi, and welcome back to your February Movement Challenge. We're already on day 25. I'm Amanda, and you're practicing with liminal space. Today's practice is a tabletop flow. If you did yesterday, we worked on some strengthening exercises in tabletop, and now we want to take it into a flow, see how it all works together, and I hope it feels good in your body. Remember, if it doesn't feel good, you don't have to do it. Let's begin by coming into our tabletop position, tucking the toes under, picking the knees up just an inch off the mat and lowering them down. So picking up, kind of getting the ab muscles engaged, lowering, spread your fingers out wide, try to take the pressure off your wrists. Keep going, lift the knees just an inch or two for five, drop them down, lift up for four, lower, lift for three, lower, lift for two, lower, lift for one, and hold it, big breath in, downward facing dog on your breath out, free to keep those knees bent, take a moment here just to pedal out the feet, so today's practice is a bit of a flow, and we want to kind of get in that fluid, flowy mindset, so let it feel good when you move in your body, Take away any thoughts of rigidity, and if something doesn't feel right or it doesn't really connect in your brain and your body, you are free to move in a different way, whether it's a transition or a pose. Keep pedaling your feet, maybe lift and lower the heels a few times. Take a big breath here, and then exhale, bend your knees, lower them down into tabletop. Walk your hands back, keep your toes tucked under. I'm going to bring the legs together, hands to hips, inhale, rise, maybe bring the hands to the lower back, so squeeze the back of the body, kind of open up the front side, a bit of a back bend here, and just breathe into it, and exhale, sit back down, hands in front of you, let the wrists be floppy, and then we're going to try to tap the underside of our palm with our fingers, so tapping under for 10, let it go, 9, Eight, seven, six, curl them under, four, three, two, one. Flip the palms up, figure eight, flip over, up and over. A couple figure eights here. Just a little warm up and then shake out the wrists, shake out the elbows, kind of shake out the arms and neck. Give yourself a little bit of an energetic shake, an energetic brush. Find your hands, find your tabletop, untuck your toes. And then we're just going to have a little temper tantrum before we begin. So lifting up the feet, right and left. Maybe smacking the feet on the ground. You don't have to. Maybe just fluttering the legs. Awakening the hamstrings, keep flutter kicking for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, drop your knees. Right leg extends long behind you. Take a breath here. Come up to your fingertips if you need to create space. We're going to pull the knee forward and step it through. Once we've stepped through, we're reaching up into a lunge position, taking a breath here. <sighs> Lengthening the front leg, pulling the toes up, exhale, bending the elbows, slowly leaning in, reaching back. Two more times. Inhale forward, finding a lunge, pressing the hips forward. Exhale, shifting, leg lengthening, arms reaching back. One more time with your breath, inhale. And exhale, bring it forward, hands to heart center, and we're going to take a twist over the right knee, left elbow cuts across, breathing in, breathing out, inhale, rise through center, and exhale, lower your hands, maybe to your fingertips, we're going to lift that right foot, kick it back, breathing in. And lowering the foot, hugging the knee to center, inhale, cow pose, exhale, cat. Inhale through center, extend your left leg long behind you, maybe come up to your fingertips to create space. Exhale, tuck the knee in, step it forward, 
and then slowly come up to a lunge position or reach the arms up, kind of opening up the right hip, breathe in. Slowly push the hips back, extend the front leg, bend the elbows, reach back. So we're finding balance here, reaching the head forward. Might be a little shaky. Breathe in, dynamic. Reach forward and upward. Exhale back, reach back. Move the hips forward. Last one, breathe in, arms up. Exhale, push that booty back. Lengthen the leg, toes up, reach the arms back. You did great. Come back through center. Deep breath here, hands to heart, exhale, find your twist, right elbow across the left knee and then pressing the palms together, allowing the elbows to open, the gaze to shift upward, zipper up the navel to the spine, deep breath in, complete breath out, realign through center, lift up your arms, inhale, exhale, hands down, fingertips down, Hug that left knee up and into the chest. Send it long behind you. Plant the palms. Breathe in. Exhale, lower your foot. Drag your knee in. Go ahead, take a seat back in child's pose. One breath here. And let it go. Rise to tabletop. Hands under shoulders. We're going to do tiger crunches here. We did them yesterday, but we're going to bring it into a flow today. So bringing that right knee and elbow together. And then tapping back behind us, three of these. Bring it out to the tricep, right side. Tap it back. And we're kind of turning the head to follow along. One more time here. And then we're going to step to the outside of our right hand. Slowly turn the left foot to face the back. Right, so we have our hips open. It's kind of like a warrior two. Arms are going to come out. We're going to bring it forward, elbow down, left arm over. And a little dancing warrior. Right, we're going to straighten the front leg out, reach up. Bend the leg, elbow to knee, reach over. Bring it through, maybe half bind, straighten that front leg. Great job, one more time. This time right hand to the floor, left arm to the sky. So opening up here, big inhale. And exhale. Stay with me, we're gonna float back up to top. Extend our right leg, plant our left hand. Slowly begin to turn the body. So we're facing the other direction, right hand to the floor, right leg lifts. Go ahead, step it outside of the right hand. Opening up again, we're on that same leg. So again, it's the right leg, we're open. We're coming up one more time here. Extend the right leg, plant the left hand. Big stretch through a side plank. Good, right hand to the mat, right knee to the center. Sink back in child's pose, take a breath. And let it go. Come back up through your tabletop. Tiger crunches on the left side. Left knee to left tricep. And then reach, kind of follow with your eyes. Right, tap it out. Bring it across. One more time, tap it out. This time, step it to the outside of your left hand. Take your time coming up, kind of adjusting the leg so that that right foot is pointing back so you have a base behind you. Left leg in front of you, sinking in, opening the arms like a warrior. Big breath here. And we're gonna dance it out a little bit. Left elbow to knee, right arm overhead. Come through center, straighten out, maybe half bind, left arm up. Exhale, take it through. Lean in, pull back. Whatever you wanna do with that right arm is great. And then we're gonna take it down this time, left hand to the floor, right arm open. So big breath here, big opening. Exhale, pick it up, send it back, this time right hand to the floor, giving the body a bit of a stretch here. So bringing it back through center, left leg lifts and then step it through, still on the left side, right foot behind you, bring it up, left hand to the floor, right arm up. Good, come back through center, extend that left leg, right hand to the mat. So last little stretch here. And then take, take it through. 
Come back to a child's pose. Drop the weight of your head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Amazing job. Rise and round through cat. Move through cow. Let the spine be fluid. Sit back in child's pose. Go again. Rise and round through cat. Maybe a little bit more forward. Wave the spine. Send it back. Child's pose. Last time. Take it through. Send it back. And then come back up final time in your tabletop. We are going to extend the right leg out to the side. Anchor the foot down. All the way to the pinky toe edge. Walk your hands back. Go ahead, come up, turn your toes out. So this is where we were just a moment ago, just coming from a different way, and we're just gonna kind of sink in and push out. Sink in and out. Last time. And out. Toes forward, hands down. And we're going to take a couple little circles here. So whatever direction that you would like to begin in, take two or three circles through and then switch directions. So letting that foot and heel and toes lift, let the foot kind of move around with you. Good. Once you feel good, bring that right knee back to the mat. Extend and kick that left leg out to the side. Anchor your foot down and walk your hands back as you start to come up. Turn out the left toes, start to sink into that left hip, and kind of pull back. So just dropping into a dynamic stretch. One more time. And then this time we're going to turn the toes forward a little bit, bring our hands down, and start to find some circles here. So going one direction. Remember again, you can lift your toes up. All parts of the foot don't have to touch the whole time necessarily. It's kind of cool to let different parts of the foot touch as you move through circles and then take it the other way. No rush. Change this so that it feels good for your body. And remember, if it doesn't feel good, we're not doing it. Okay, come back through center. Drag that knee in through center. And then cross the ankles. Take a seat. Bring your hands behind you. Your knees in front of you, your feet out, and we're just going to drop and windshield wiper over to one side, pause and breathe, try to relax the feet, the face, and then lift and windshield wiper over to the other side, allow it to drop in and bite the feet and face and then the other muscles that are connecting to this pose, just let them all relax as you breathe. And then slow windshield wipers from left to right. Just inviting the breath to be longer, more mindful and conscious. Great. Bring it back to center. Cross the legs. Wiggle into your seat. Allow your palms to flip up. Allow your eyes to soften and close. Shoulders to relax, jaw to relax. The palms of the hands and the fingers to relax. Let them just curl up and in. Take a couple deep breaths here. And feel like you are in your flow. In the flow of life, in the flow of your own energy and in the flow with your intuition. Every single time you move your body, knowing this feels good, this doesn't feel good. Just having that awareness. Bring in your hands to heart center. Take a moment to be grateful here. Not to me, but to you for showing up, for moving your body in different ways, for trusting the process as it's unfolding. You are doing one hell of a job. I see the light in you, and I hope you see it too. Till next time we practice together, namaste. 
Know that I'll see you again tomorrow, and we're almost done with our February movement challenge. Be well.